All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. First of all, man, I want to thank everybody that's always rocking with your boy, looking out for your boy, helping your boy out, liking the videos. Each and every one of you is an honorary. Jim Star! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. Listen, man, ain't none of us gym stars right now, man. It really sucks. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I really want to go to the gym. I really want to do stuff. I really want to get these shirts out like I like I normally get. Bro, like everybody's business is behind right now. Like even us. We used to be able to walk right into a place where was a huge warehouse, get everything that we need when you guys ordered it, and we could get it right out to you the same day. Right now, as it stands, not able to do that. It's just like because everything is impacting. And the funny thing is you see the, the inventory dwindling down, dwindling down, dwindling down. And you wonder because some of this stuff is not made in this country, will we, will we ever reach zero? A lot of electronics, a lot of stuff like that, what, Bridget, like electronics, computer parts, uh, microphones, all that stuff is gone. This microphone that I use to stream, uh, that I talk to y'all, like when, when I'm talking to you guys on uh, Xbox and stuff like that, and in PlayStation, this is what I use because I can mute it and I can unmute it. You understand? This is gone. This is no more. You cannot get it anymore. It's gone. Um, The quadcast, was the quadracast, quadracast, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, HyperX, gone. HyperX headphones and stuff like that, when they're selling out, they are gone. Uh, different mics and all that stuff, all the way, gone. But because of that, I ran across this product that I'm that I'm gonna tell y'all about right now. This is a shameless plug. This is not sponsored or anything like that. Uh, but I, I'm just telling you about it because I really believe in the product and I think it's dope. Uh, now, you may be, you may know about blue mics. I've had all the blue mics. I had Blue Snowball. I had the uh, blue, the blue Yeti. Everybody's had the, the blue Yeti and all that stuff. I've used all of those. But the people from Blue, uh, a couple of the guys from Blue, they left Blue, and they went and they created these mics and their, their own company called Neat. And uh, their theme is always it's a B type of theme, man. Um, really, I'm gonna show you the different mics and stuff that they got, man. And then I'm gonna let you guys be on your way. The one that I have is this one. That's what this is right here. You hear the sultry tones of my voice, the King B. I, I, I always say if you're gonna go big, go big or go home, man. And the reason that I went with this one is because they said that it, it compared very comparably to another mic that was like four or five hundred dollars. I forgot exactly what the name of that mic was, but you see that purchased, purchased on the 29th. I, I hit them up and tried to see if I could get like a sponsorship or something from them. I have not heard back from them yet. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But either way, it's an awesome, it's an awesome product, awesome mic, and I, I absolutely, I absolutely, uh, I absolutely love it. Now, what we have up next is you've got the, uh, if you don't, if you're, if you're balling on a budget or something like that, man, you got the neat widget A. Alright, so this, this, this one right here, $39 mic, um, and you know, it's just a, a USB desktop mic. Then the next thing you have is the worker B. Cardioid, not quite as as much as what you would want. Um, you know, not as heavy. You know, not the same thing, same deal. Not not as dope. But you do get the pop filter, you get the shock mount, and this shock mount is fantastic. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all in a second. Look, I'm tapping on the mic. Tapping on my desk. I don't know if it's picking it up or not, but y'all get what y'all get what I'm saying with the shock mount. And um, if you want to do, if you want USB, you can go with the Bumblebee, or you can go with the uh, the B Caster. I mean, I think that you can't go wrong. Hold up, you can't see the B Caster, can you? Uh, anyway, you can't go wrong, man. This this little desktop mic, and uh, you know, it's it's pretty dope, man. Pretty dope. But this is not an advertisement for them, so that's why I didn't that's why I didn't like go all the way in and show y'all everything. I just wanted to give them a shout out, man, because if you're looking for a new mic and you want something, like you want a good mic, this is an XLR mic. And like I said, it's really heavy, so you can tell that it's got all the condenser uh, materials or all that stuff right here. I'm gonna try to see. You see, it's got all the condenser and all of that stuff right here. All of the stuff that's the the, the mechanical parts or what have you, the non-mechanical parts, electro electronical, whatever it is. All of that's in there, and you can tell by the heft of it that that it's really working. But like I said, though, no, 
Um, hopefully I'm coming in loud and clear. This is gonna be my mic for the foreseeable future. Uh, my streaming mic, my video mic, all that good stuff. But that ain't what y'all here to talk about, man. Y'all wanna know what's going to change 2K and the landscape of 2K. Now, I've been talking to my guy Brutus Sim. First of all, y'all see right here, man, I'm talking to people about, about my AMD. I'm thinking about doing a new computer bill. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think I should get. It's between the 9900K uh, with the Intel or it's between the uh, AMD 3950X. I really think I'm going to lean toward the 3950X because the cores and all of that stuff, they're going to let me stream, play some games here and there. But my main focus is, is streaming and video editing. That's it. Not really gaming. Gaming would be cool, but I have a gaming laptop that I, I use a two streaming setup. And uh, it might be a while before I get it because I did some changes to my computer and uh, it's cooler. It's running cooler. So the, so the fans aren't, uh, it's not as bad. But at any rate, let's just get down to business, man. What's gonna change the face of 2K? How can they change the face of 2K? What I feel like is something that they should do that they have not done. Look, man. I already made a video on this one time before. I don't want y'all to be like, you know, if you saw it before, you saw it before. I'm gonna drop this knowledge on y'all, man. Next gen is coming up. NBA 2K21 is coming up, right? We all know this. 2K has a very big decision to make because live is coming back. With live coming back, they may come back in a way that's not going to be conducive to what 2K wants to do. Live might come back in a way and just obliterate. We already know that live is the best basketball game on the market as far as looks, feel, aesthetics, immersiveness, immersion, all that stuff. We know that until you start playing the game. So right until like the art team, the hair, the shirts, the courts, everything with live is dope. The faces, the just everything, beautiful, gorgeous, awesome game. Even if you're watching somebody play, even the movement looks not superior to 2K, but it looks tolerable. Until they drop the camera, hand you the basketball, and then you flick the sticks to start moving. That's when the illusion is broken and you're like, yo, this is just not a basketball game. This is not a basketball game. That's the point at which you start saying that. Next gen, it might be different. Hopefully it is different because I want live to succeed. I want live to be a successful game because if live is a successful game, then it will push 2K and 2K will have to be a better game. And, if, and the more good games we have out there, the more competition we have. And like my dog Hard Eight says, competition is good. I said competition is good, but one thing that I feel like 2K is missing, besides all the other stuff, we're not talking about the, the mechanics of the game right now. We're just talking about the, the exterior of the game. Something that I feel like that we absolutely have to have and the perfect time to implement it right now would be right now is cross, not cross play, but cross save. And the reason I'm saying this is because Nobody, like, we're, we're, this is next gen, bro. You got Fortnite. You, you can save your profile, cross save. You've got Call of Duty, you can do that. I did a video on that uh, earlier, what have you. Uh, you got you got all these games, uh, what, is, what is it, Destiny, you can do it with Destiny. Cross save, there's not cross play, so you're not, Call of Duty even has cross play. They took it one, one step further. We ain't even worried about that. I would like to have cross play, but cross play is not where I feel like we need to start. And the reason that I'm gonna say it, that I think that we need to start at cross save is simply because of this. When the new consoles come out, NBA is slated to drop about two or three months prior to the new consoles coming out. If 2K comes out two or three months prior to the new consoles, you think I'm gonna wait? A, a content creator, somebody like me, I can't wait to Dece until December in order to buy it or November or even October, whenever it comes out, even a month late, I'm already behind the eight ball, I'm dead, I can't grind, I'm done. So. With everything that's going on, we know that 2K, well, if, let's, let's assume that 2K is on time, and that's a big leap of faith, but we're gonna assume that 2K is gonna be on time, and that the uh, and that parts are everything, you know, for the, for all of the uh, Xbox, and the Xbox is on time. I'll have 2K for the regular Xbox, and then I'm going to get it also 
for the newest Xbox. It's gonna be a day one buy, so I'm gonna buy a new Xbox and then I'm gonna buy 2K day one. Wouldn't it be an awesome thing if I load up 2K on the new Xbox and all my progression, my player and all of his progression are there. It would be an awesome thing. Now, there's a guy that talked about this in an earlier video and that dude, you know, he, he's a pretty, pretty decent guy, man. You know what I mean? He, he know what he's talking about sometimes. I don't really trust him a whole lot. But with this, I, 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 I might kind, I might kind of trust this fella right here. You know what I'm saying? With, with, with this right here, man. Let's see who it is. Y'all, y'all ready to see who it is? Y'all can't, y'all can't, y'all can't see who it is, can Hold on one second, man. Let me, let me get this. Let me get my display, display capture popping. We're gonna shrink it down real quick. And I'm, I'm gonna let y'all see what this, what this young man right here has to say. We're gonna be right back. In a second, we're gonna be right back. Hold on one second, let me, let me do this right fast. Ooh, that how, boy, that, look at that how, look at what that how, what that how was hitting on bike then, bye. What the hell went hitting on nothing back then? Let's see what he got to say, though, man. I say, let's see what they got to say, though. If they had something like crossplay, they don't even have to have crossplay. Mm, this is just a don't? segue in here because Call of Duty has something, and it's an awesome feature, and I don't think anybody knows about it, but I think that this could that this could be something that 2K can implement, and it would go a long way to completely saving really the entire now. community as far as the competitive aspect because we know that the guys from wr and all those guys we, we, we know that those guys they flip flop between xboxes and things like that we're not i'm not even asking for true crossplay. we don't even need that what i'm asking for is something like activision has activision has a system in place where you log in to the activision.com site and when you log into the activision.com site you can choose you can link all of your accounts. So you can link your computer account. You can link your uh, you can link your Xbox account. You can link your PC account. Really? So PlayStation, now. PC, Xbox account. You link them all in there under one email. Does that sound familiar? Because you definitely already done that with 2K. So you link them under one email. And then when you link them under one email, you go on to your, your PlayStation, you play the game. But if I decide to play the game on the Xbox or the PC, then I also get all of my progression. I've got everything that I have on one. So right here, you probably seen it on the screen right now. You see, I logged into my PlayStation. This is what I have. Then I change over to the PC. I just downloaded the game on the PC and all of my guns, all of my progression, everything popped up. Now it took some time for it to happen, but it did pop up. I mean, it took about, and when I'm saying it took some time to happen, it took about 10, 20 seconds for it to pop up. But really? it did pop up. I've got all my progression, I got all my guns, I got all my attachments, I got all my silences. So if I wanna buy the game for multiple systems, I can enjoy the game on multiple systems the way that I wanna enjoy the game on multiple systems. Now imagine if we could do that with 2K. Just think about it. 2K is a game that everybody buys. We all want to see. We, we didn't want to see Tysino just play Zuli, um, play, play guys like, uh, he didn't play Poor Boy City, but we would have loved to all see right, that. All right, we, all we didn't right, just want right, to see brother. him play Zuli. All right, brother, that's um, enough. All right, all right, short-haired brother. That's enough. We, we get it. We get it. Look, that's all I'm saying that we want 2K to do, man. We don't want necessarily to have crossplay right out of the gate, but... I'm saying that this will be an awesome time for them to at least do cross save. So when we get there and we get to the Xbox, the player that I make on September 26th or whenever it's coming out, I don't know when 2K21 is coming out, but whenever it comes out, whatever player I have there should be the same player that I get to access in November or October when the new, when the new console comes out. And then if I buy a PlayStation, it should just be, I got all three of my accounts linked. I have my PlayStation account linked. I have my Xbox account linked, email linked. You got all those linked through your 2K account anyway. That's already done. So why can't we use that to share a profile? And like we said, I know a lot of people are just gonna be like, well, cause people will just, you know, team up and grind and one person will be grinding on the Xbox. Well, no, you can't do that. Have you tried that with the Call of Duty client? 
if you try to log in in on one system with the call of duty client you try to log in onto the other system it's not gonna let you do it and if and even if you can find a way to finagle that then you're a hacker anyway and 2k can figure that much out but besides that i just don't see why why we can't just do that because it's just a profile it's just numbers it's like it's not like it's an actual player it's just a profile that tells the game what you have if it's held on a neutral server then you just give you're just giving the game like you're designing the game so all you're doing is giving the game access to the file and you're just sharing the server it's a win-win man because like i said do you know like that like people would think that 2k would lose money they wouldn't lose any money by doing it because of the fact that i've made let's say i've made i've made one two three i made three characters on playstation and i made uh one character on xbox i would have easily 10 characters i wouldn't even pay for the opportunity to do it or hell just give it to content creators and stuff like that man and, and just let us slide between the boxes or whatever you know you know what i'm saying hey everybody that got a logo get them give them the access to the cross save and then you can slide between platforms and then you can play but like I, I i really just don't see what the downside is like i said you're gonna have cheating and stuff like that anyway but you have ways this would be very easy to catch somebody cheating uh or something like that on this but anyway like i said it's just food for thought man like i said we got the new consoles coming up if i can take my profile from xbox to the new xbox then this should be a no-brainer that i should be able to take it from xbox to playstation now we don't want to deal with them computer people i get that because they hacked the game they already did that this year but we, we got the demigod issued anyway this year without the cross save and stuff so like i know you would think like like no it's not gonna be any worse because you're actually looking for that now you put protocol in place to prevent stuff like that we ain't trying to play with 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 the with the, with the, with the computer people unless you can make that untamperable all right what we want to do is play xbox with PlayStation. PlayStation with Xbox. That's what we want for this game. And if you, and if, I don't know if you guys are going to do it, but if you are going to make it so that I can pull my character from Xbox One to Xbox One S or whatever it's gonna be called, and our Xbox One X, and that's different architecture, there's no way that you can justify to me why you can't let me do it to the PlayStation and and that's dissimilar architecture. That would be a moot point. So maybe I'm saying that and they're just not gonna let us do it, man. Or maybe people don't think about this stuff as much as I do. Anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I think it's a win-win for 2K. I think more people would make more characters. I would have two or three characters on on each each system because you know I I have about 10 characters this year, if if it was that, and I would pay for the opportunity to do it because my time is more valuable than anything out there that's just how i feel nobody want to grind it's, it's bad enough i bought the game for two systems but then you want me to grind two characters too like nah just just hey cross save baby that, that let's start with that then we can work on cross play later on but let's let's get this cross save popping anyway man y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments man let me know how y'all think this mic did man and uh, i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ God speed. Y'all stay safe, man. And uh let me know if y'all barber is around, cause mine ain't. So I'm just gonna keep letting it grow. I'm gonna get Bridget to twist it up this weekend. We're gonna see how that's how that works. But I'm gonna holler at y'all later. Peace.